Alrighty then. I'm looking at the very wrong screen. Alright. Here, Death Live for you now is a tale of the whoop. Take a look at this nice no man's sky slideshow while I'm doing this mess. Cause there's no need for me to excuse me. To bore you guys with all of that. So it was my plan tonight. Well, it was my plan period to actually stream um Batman the Telltale series and that is what I plan to do what I didn't realize is I had to sign up for an account which huh faux pas faux pas faux pas but it's all good because that's probably about to happen right now Hmm. Oops. 
So now that my professionalism has taken hold, we can do this properly. <laughs> Alright, so yes, I am here streaming Batman the Telltale series. Um, I had not played... Actually, that's pretty much not, not a lie. I had uh, played a little bit. The only other Telltale game that I have played before, and this was very briefly, was a demo of um, uh, Wolf Among Us, I'm pretty sure. Hopefully, if uh, if I'm too loud or the audio is too loud, please let me know. I'd appreciate it. Because I can only hear the loud audio in my headset, Oops, which I need to turn down. Anyway, but yeah, Wolf Among Us demo I think was the only one I played. I've been wanting to play this since it came out, but I wanted to wait until uh, the next episode came out, which is going to happen next week. And since that's the case, I might as well go ahead and do this, and I think everybody in their grandmom's played it, so, and if anybody happens to show up in the, the chat who's played it, don't tell me anything, because I'd going through this blind and I'd rather keep it that way. See if we play. Ole. All that. So I think this is the first one where they said they have this uh, crowd play thing where you can play with people uh, on Twitch or whatnot. We're not going to be doing that tonight. So maybe some other time though. And here still has some, some issues likewise or something because of uh, the like between Twitch and whatnot. But you know what? Enough about me rambling. Let's just do this. Oh man, this is stuff I should have done. Yeah, that's barely visible, I'd say. Don't want to get it too dark anyway. Oh. Bat tech color, huh? Uh, bat tech color determines the look of uh, Batman's gadget UI. Oh, I didn't put on subtitles either. I mean, clearly, we have to go with purple. Clearly. I can't think of a, of a better combination of colors, don't you? <laughs> Batman would be rocking purple, I think, in honor of the purple in himself. And if not, he probably has it in his tape deck or CD player or eh, we, we could, he probably has a, uh, an MP3 server in the Batman bill. Mm -hmm. Yes, I love... I should say this all the back. I love choose your own adventure books from when I was a kid, and the Telltale series have always had that promise of this is pretty much the, what that's going to be in video game form. Wait, let me pause this right here. Uh, let's see. I'm not even going to look at the controls. There we go. Eh. We'll go with medium. To zoom game. I'm playing it with this with the 360 controller, by the way. Just cause I could do it with mouse and keyboard, but who cares, right? Hey, what are you? Oh, well, there's a start. <laughs> oh, jeez. Rip security guard. And I'm also going to warn you, that, being that I've not played one of these games before, but I do know what this entails. And there's going to be a lot of messing up. I can almost guarantee you that. Get it open. On it. Thanks. 
You think he's gonna show? He'll bring the whole goddamn place down. Stay focused. We'll be out of here before anyone can stop us. Hopefully everything's looking right tonight. Choppy. As it tends to look. You know what? I might need to do some those. The graphic settings up for that one. Matter of fact, hang on. See? Tells you professional. I could have set this up. Wait, this. Graphics. Uh, let's go with. Full screen on. You know what? Eh, I'll do that. There we go. Let's see what that does for us. Christ. Move in. Yeah, that's good. That's looking a little bit better. One of the, the cops wanted dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. With all the other flying animals. Huh. I was I was almost a uh, Batman 89 type reference. Oh, here we go. That's right. Keep doing this. I have to. <laughs> no one else will. Every drop of blood, everything you've sacrificed, the city is safer now. But it's made you a target. And people will keep you in the crosshairs until you're shot out of the sky. Strength and silence aren't enough to keep you alive. Putting blood on the mantle ain't doing it either, pal. Shit! The hell did he go? Whatever got in, don't let it get out. Whatever got in. All right, you know what got in. It's the goddamn Batman.
I know you're trying to create a myth, but be careful you don't turn into a monster. Sometimes you need a monster. Come on! Come on! Come on! <laughs> Didn't your mother teach you to knock? Behind you, big boy. Huh? Heyday. Oh, Selena. Intimidating, you're succeeding. Criminals are becoming afraid of you, so are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. <sighs> Without Looks a like scratch. I might be so far. That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all of this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. No one else will. I'm the only one who gets the job done. Sounds lonely. Gotta admit it, though. You give you a good chase. That. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Then let's put you in a cage. Bring it, Bat. It's over. I wouldn't be so sure. <laughs> that was a neat trick. Who are now? Jesus! I got it! Wait, wait, wait! Do not shoot!
I go to all that trouble for this? Shit! A myth can't be killed. You, however, are flesh and blood. God damn it! I said don't shoot! No! Wait! I think his armor would be able to take that, but all right. wrong about you catching me not sure if it was for my sake or yours who put you up to this answer me or I let go but you won't you're not that kind of guy Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Heard well, that line before. Time to save the city. Yeah, that was a cool little sequence. I'm. Hmm. I'm going to see if I can... Thank you! <laughs> Thank you, everyone! Hang on, I'm gonna pause right there... ...and see if I can do something about, um... Let me try this and see if this works a little bit better. Because I was noticing some, um, what looked to be some stutter. No, I do not want to quit. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Now, for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. If only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. How you gonna put your Say man up on a dime like that? Hi, Bruce. Well, I tee him up and he knocks him down. That's how Mr. Wayne and I do business. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Just wanted to make an entrance. Congratulations, you almost missed it. You are a pillar of this city and my campaign. I need you here, tuxedoed and shaking hands. No one came here tonight to see me. They want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? 
And I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little FaceTime with potential donors. I don't know, I'm kind Your of worried on this specifically one. with a mouth that's saying, support Harvey Dent. Where the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. I'll do anything for Gotham. It's my home. It's our home. This will help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Yeah, now right. all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. Which, for the record, I have not been since before law school. All right, all right, all right. How about uh, a new face for Gotham? Hmm? <laughs> you, it's not half bad. I'm gonna use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. So, thank you for anybody who's uh, tuning into the stream. Sorry, I'm having, was having a little frame rate issues. Hopefully it's not uh, terrible. If it is, I have to figure out what's, what's going Mr. on. Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll, I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't oh, know damn. Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, Whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. <laughs> well, I'm flattered, truly, but this night is about getting Harvey Dent elected so he can fix those potholes. <laughs> That's right. Divert. I think Bruce, I speak divert. for half the room when I say politicians are puppets. Oh, come on now, Bob. I'm not a politician. I'm a crusader. Hmm? No strings attached. Old families like ours should flock together, you know, like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Uh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding golden age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's hmm. always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. Harvey Dent is our best shot. Put him in a room with anyone for 15 minutes and that grin will win him over. He's gonna need more than that, son. Oh, it hasn't been 15 minutes yet, Bob. We've still got time. Uh, don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. With Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, in case it was you didn't terrible, know. truly terrible. Yeah, a tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe... Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. Uh, yes, well, that was a long time ago. I've moved on. Of course. Of course. Together, we'll help the whole city move on. <laughs> <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. Oh, well, hello. So you wonder who this is? Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicky Vale. Not, not interested, not and reporter it. for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? 
Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. No, no, it's all right. You can stay. Thanks. Bruce? This is quite the social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now. So formal. Call me Bruce. Well, <laughs> Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. But how are you doing? You should enjoy your own party before all the champagne runs out. Well, I'm doing better now that you're here. Well, I'll tell you, if all these stuffed shirts weren't around, I'd give you the private tour. <laughs> Mr. Wayne, you've you've got something on your collar. Um, is that blood? Yeah, it looks like. No, oh, this? No, it's nothing. It just uh, cut myself shaving. What? Your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding, kidding. Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything, except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. Uh, that's not gonna speak any volumes. <laughs> and what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham, for all of us. Look, at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. Jesus, Harvey, inviting a known criminal to your fundraiser doesn't exactly look good for your squeaky clean image. Let me worry about that. A word of warning, Bruce? Play nice. Hey, Bruce is all about nice. It's the other you know, fellow you gotta watch out for. for. a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. <laughs> Man, all flash, no class. Well, you couldn't afford it. Yeah, right. Carmine Falcone, thank you for welcoming me into your home. All eyes on... You're a respectable man, I hear. Fuck you, Falcone. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. You should know, Mr. Falcone, my analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill at... Hey, what's... Private audience. Oh, come on, guys. Bruce? You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. Yeah, Bruce has gone way Harvey that, stays but... with us. A man's home is his castle. I respect that. Seen and not heard. Whatever you... Ah, ah, what did I say? <laughs> I know I'll probably be doing another playthrough of this and I'll definitely be making some different decisions. Mr. District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just say he will. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey actually has integrity. He's trying to make Gotham a better place. So am I. So are you. Hey, we all carry this city on our broken backs. Might lighten the load if we do so together. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So. Let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under him. 
Whatever happened to being a gracious host? Okay, imagine. This is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. I make them all move. And I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home. Hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light. If need be. Yeah, that's not happening. This isn't a deal with the devil. You listen to me, kid. I know somewhere inside that tuxedo you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. Oh, you shouldn't have brought that up. And which to break. Don't you dare talk about my father. You're getting worked up over nothing. <laughs> Hell, I knew him longer than you did. People don't say no to me. Not for long. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. And he's gonna get what's coming to him. Hmm. Whatever you say, if I call it Abe. Whatever you say. Was it, wait, is that it? <laughs> dun, dun, dun. I would say late title card was <laughs> the latest. It's me. Oh man, the purple looks good. The purple looks good. Wait, all that was like a prologue, okay. A string of home invasions rippled through the city's already crime-infested East End. Apparently, the bandits are using stolen GCPD battery rams to force their way in, with breaking and entry incidents up 40% over last year. Remember to keep those front doors locked tonight. And we have breaking news tonight. Five criminals are in custody this evening after a break-in at City Hall. But thanks to the efforts of the Batman, the stolen items were returned. Not all of them. Let's see what she was really after. Allegations that Dent may have actually been involved in the break-in. Talk about dirty politics. Does Hill's campaign really think these accusations hold any oh, water? We have votes? direct movement. Will it be perceived as a desperate attempt from a flailing campaign to take down one of Gotham's most promising young politicians? Nearly fell off a building for this. Sometime just before dawn, 
causing traffic to back up for miles as the Wait. cops cut oh, him down. Oh, oh, oh. oh, that was the movie took us from all night, I guess. Random stabbings are the latest headache for the riders of Gotham's yeah. overcrowded sky rail cars to look contend around. with. Gotham Poor police Jesus. are investigating multiple cases of riders receiving abdominal wounds from an ice pick or other pointed weapon while pressed into the tight quarters with fellow passengers. A few have died, while most have been admitted to Gotham General in critical condition. The police don't have any suspects at the time. Two more patients have gone missing from Arkham Asylum, bringing the oh, total number of so... escapees from the half prison Okay, so Gordon is still lieutenant at this time, I guess. All right, this year. Yeah. Only three have been caught to date, but all the escapees highlight the rough I wonder so if they're going to go through that little arc. At the, aging asylum. the latest, 44-year-old twin brother and sister, Leon and Valerie Muldoon, should be considered dangerous if found. Authorities are asking that you do not approach and call police immediately. Muldoon? I don't know those Mayor names. Mayor Hill's Gotham Beautiful Act takes effect today, making it possible for landlords to evict tenants immediately and without cause. The new law was created in order to allow Gotham City's biggest property owners greater ability to modify and improve the city's aging buildings. I mean, some monetize. of which have been occupied by families for decades. So if you come home from work tonight and find all your stuff on the street, don't worry. It probably isn't anything you did wrong. <laughs> That's and not comforting at all. Now you can't even trust the valets. More on this after the break. Mayor Hill says he's tough on crime, but since his election, violence in Gotham has okay, skyrocketed. We don't need to keep looking at that. Check and out the codex real quick. With legislation that would have dismantled organized yeah. crime in the city, he vetoed it, killing Gotham's chance for a safer future. Okay, just their codex of the he people we've already met. The rumors of Hill's connections to some of Gotham's most notorious mafia families yeah. are true. We don't need another gangster running the city. We need a crime-fighting hero. With over 200 successful convictions, District Attorney Harvey Dent just might be the hero Gotham needs. But he can't save our city alone. This he reminds me. I need to finish reading GCPD. Um, I started reading that that uh, comic a while back, and uh, I never did get to finish. That's an interesting ad, and the guy, um, who's voicing over sound like he does that stuff in real life. Does Hill's campaign really think these accusations hold any water with the voters? Anyway, I'm not gonna bore you, but going off the list, because I can do this on my own time. But I just want to look through this and see. Tin mill, huh? Okay. Now on day three of the factory fire, the Wilmot so and um, crews have given up trying to combat the blaze at the Otisburg um, Processing Center, owned by it. Ace Chemical. Still no word on what Looks started like the this fire. Will be into... Whatever's burning in there has resisted everything the fire All department right. has thrown at it. They're recommending people avoid the area and seek Get immediate swap and the bone over here. Any of that Look at him. Oh. And one mobster's murder caused quite a headache for commuters this morning. Look at the gadgets. Let's look at the gadgets. Oh, okay, so now they're repeating stuff. Look at that. Spare grapple. Can't believe I let her take that. Hey, 20 side dies. Wouldn't you know it? Well, the test run at the mayor's office was a success. Should see if I can refine the edge. Could be sharper. Can deliver a jolt or knock out electricity in the area. And I suppose that cat woman would have preferred the latter. Where does he get Two more patients have gone the missing from the newest addition? Can program it to reveal trace elements in a confined space. To fifteen this year. Huh. Almost sounds like the detective Alright, let us get towards the door here.
You know, I can imagine there's a lot of streamers that's why that was so important. who would love a setup like this. Or people in general. At least I know, I know, would. I would. <sighs> Encrypted. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here. In a dark, damp cave. In front of a computer. I'll leave as soon as I finish. People with regular jobs can do their work anywhere, but for me, this is my office. I agree. It isn't normal work. Even worse, the best outcome is that no one ever finds out you've done it. Yeah, well, good deeds usually go unnoticed. Uh, though not unappreciated. Did you find out what that, um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. This is a map of the east side shoreline. But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs. Everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime... I saved you what I could. Thanks, so. Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. Why is he I had to literally now? pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat. I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. I had everything under control. That's true. I've seen you take down worse thugs. But I'd already sewn you up once tonight, and I had no interest in a repeat performance. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone. Thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this Catwoman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. Haha, <laughs> keep hoping. No, I already checked the codex. Not much to find, oh, apparently. What if I hadn't Keep checked the codex? break-ins. It, it would have asked me to do so. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. It's not the point. I want criminals to know I'm out there. Batman isn't hiding from anybody. I was talking about Bruce. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now. Trust me. Okay, that's Elvin's gonna bother injuries, me. Injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. I have a job to do, okay? A responsibility to this city. You know why I do this. For the car, I presume. Well, the car helps. Oh, yes, you <laughs> drive that thing like a bat out of hell. Ah, <sighs> old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. I thought I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Oh. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stints? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Wait, Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Oh. Why he's returning now, I haven't the faintest idea. Do you think he might know something about the break-in? 
This Catwoman this shows up around is... the same time Oswald comes back to town. Who I think it Might is. not be a coincidence. Oswald's crimes, numerous they may be, are on a much smaller scale than robbing City Hall. Well, he was always trouble growing up, but <laughs> he's the fun kind of trouble. You both were. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close. Yep. I'd advise you to be cautious. Totally is. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. Second, folks, I'm gonna try to make one more uh, adjustment here. Uh, it looks like my frames are dropping. And I don't know why. And I has a sad for that because I know this doesn't, if, if it might not look all that great. So. Like I tried game capture, and I tried window capture. Window capture looks like it was doing all right for a moment, but um, yeah, I don't know. No, I do not. Thank you. Uh, let's see settings. Let me try. The hell with the inverted anyway. Actually, now I am kind of curious about that. Uh, let's see. Now we've got the way it is. Apply that. Resume. Still a pretty good looking game, even the one I'm running. Here outside of the sign that's up top. Nope, guess not. Yeah, yeah this probably would be easier to play um, with mouse and keyboard, but eh. We're heading for uh, some sort of altercation. <sighs> Great. Well, there's the statue, but no Oz. Yes, Bruce. Because it's a trap. G 
sure this, making sure there's nothing else. Shopping carts, Bruce. You probably have never seen one before. I get that. Oh. I see you over there, dude. Just, um, getting in the local color. Don't mind me. Unless you're about to start some shit, then catch all the mines you want. used to be. Probably never was. Statues and graffiti. Yep, those that's graffiti. I saw something else back there. Watch Wallet Cash. But this goes through you. Yep, saw this one coming. Hey, you heard him, man. The hell are you waiting for? You're making a mistake. You already made one. Come in here. The next one kills you. Yep. And him. Gentlemen. Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp. You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're in the moment! Come here. I think that'll do? Ha <laughs> ha! This is my park! Mine! You hear that? Oh, well, this is a different take. Oh. Hey, Bruce. You've got a little, uh... Eh. Yeah. Good as new. Woo! That was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Besides, someone needed to deal with the rubber situation here. You didn't need to take it so far. Some folks are fine hearing, Bruce. Others don't get the message unless it's beaten into them. Huh. It's been, what, two decades? And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce. I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mom and Dad, they put so much work in here. Well, those were better days. That they were, yeah. Thought we'd grow up to be kings, I did. Both of us. This city chews right through people. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Dad. Ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. <sighs> it's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. I'm. I'm sorry, Oz. 
No one should have to go through that. Thanks, Bruce. But we are not the only ones suffering. Sure, there's something that's going to be Bruce. brought up on that. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Made himself right at home. That oily... Oh. Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. I never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And it'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Uh huh. Things are sure. going to be on the upswing soon, no? A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door, and I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. Here it comes. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. I'm not your enemy, Oz. That remains to be seen, don't it? I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Beat his ass, Bruce. Beat his ass now. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. Huh. Like I said, this is a... That's a rather interesting take on, um... Lord Oswald. 